90.5. Does anybody know why this number gained prominence last year? The plastic waste crisis has gained the attention of Britain's Royal Statistical Society, which has chosen 90.5%. The proportion of plastic that has never been recycled to be its international statistic of the previous year. To explain this number, I wanted to watch this video. Careful, make the... Oh, McDonald's. No, 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 no. Sí, sí o no. No sé, no, no. ¿Cómo se siente? ¿Cómo qué piensas que es? Duro, sí, es una es una concha rara. I don't know how deep and I don't want to pull it if it's like a touch of brain stem. Yeah, that's what exactly what I think. So don't like rather cut it maybe. I don't know. I mean, I got scissors, but I don't have much. Let's try. Yeah, could you, one of the swabs, the sterile swabs, could you f like put them into the iodine and then we're just gonna try to clean it? No, but it's not a hook, for the least it's not an anzuelo or something of metal or something that gets stuck in the nose. It's not for the What is it? Like, let's keep it, or like, you keep it, right? Yeah, what plastic is Plastic, oh? Is it a straw? Don't tell me it's a freaking no. straw. Because it looked but like in Germany we have the like, like we have those with the black right. with the black stripes. But that would it's freaking it's a freaking straw up her freaking nostril. That's plastic. Mm -hmm. That's not bone. This is That's not bone. even <laughs> freaking that, funny. Look, there's a lines on it. How many of you watch this video without flinching? or waiting for it to get over. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the result of one straw. A straw that was carelessly disposed by us. A straw that ended up in the oceans and eventually caused the pain to the turtle that you witness right now. Incidentally, this one straw is part of the problem that I want to solve. A five trillion piece problem that is plaguing us today. The problem of what you throw in the oceans. Hello everybody, my name is Hasek Kazi. I am 12 years old and I alone have a plastic death of roughly 72 kgs and counting. So, in case you're wondering, what is plastic death? It is the amount of non-recycled plastic which is we humans leave behind on this planet. According to a study, for every person in India, six tons of plastic is not recycled annually. For the average American, it is an even more astounding 90 tons per person of plastic which is not recycled annually. Imagine in a lifetime how much plastic is left behind because of us. When we die, our bodies go back to Mother Earth. But the plastic death is left behind as a legacy for the coming generations. Did you know that we already have more microplastics in the ocean than we have stars in the Milky Way? Or if you were to take all the, uh, all the plastic from the ocean surface and pile it up. Do you know how far a distance it would cover? It would be enough to stack two liter bottles from here to the moon and back. 
twice. Let me tell you a story of a whale. This young whale ended up on the shores of northern Netherlands. Nine meters of ropes, two hose pipes, and over 37 pounds of plastic. Its cause of death? Intestinal blockage. Recently, the presence of water has been confirmed on Mars by scientists, and that made me think. We dream of making Mars more like Earth, while we continue to make Earth more like Mars. With so much happening around us, I felt I had to do something about this. Hence, I came up with an idea of an invention that will help make the oceans a cleaner place, an ocean cleaner called Airways. Airways is an intelligent ship which sucks waste from the ocean surface and cleans it. It all started two years back. I had watched some documentaries and a TED talk of Boyan Slat about how he wanted to clean the oceans. A few days later, as I came home from playing football, my mom asked me to wash my hands. And as I went to the sink to get the dirt off, I observed a whirlpool of water going down the drain. An idea came to my mind, and I smiled. I drew and created a rough model, a circular ship with saucers attached. A very futuristic design, much like the USS Enterprise from Star Trek. Come on, we all love the series, right? This was just the first draft. The propellers weren't automated, and it only lasted a full seven seconds in water before coming apart. But there it was. My Airways, my vision of changing the oceans. While guzzling down innumerable cups of hot chocolate, you know, I'm still a kid, no coffee for me. I did some exhaustive research to achieve my vision of Airways, which is, first, to clean the current waste floating in the ocean, Second, to analyze the data from the waste which we collect. And third, to stop a dead source, which is getting exposed by the ships. I had also realized that a circular shape was not very efficient, and that I had to redesign my ship to be more hydrodynamic. So I worked with scientists and designers to create a more bleeding edge model. So here's how it works. The ship is essentially a large boat powered by solar and renewable natural gas with various compartments and saucers surrounding it. The saucers float on the surface, gravitate to create a whirlpool to pull the waste towards its center, which is then sent through a tube to various chambers in the ship. The chambers include an infrared sensor. The next four chambers are for large, medium, small, and microwaves, respectively. Once a waste enters the chambers, air waste analyzes, segregates, and compacts it, and pumps the filtered water back into the oceans, all without harming marine life in the process. In the future, I see myself tackling other ocean problems, like the waste which lies at the bottom of the sea and the one on beaches. I would also like to do more research on innovative ways to recycle the waste. Somebody asked me how confident I was about the success of Airways. As Chris Anderson said, 
this idea exists and will always remain a part of me and nobody can take that away. Today, when I'm talking to you about it, it has become a part of you and I hope it will stay with you. That, my friends, is the success of Airbus to me. Airbus to ship will be my contribution in making the earth a better place and I hope in some way it can inspire you to find your idea which can bring a positive change in the world. Thank you.